Good morning. So today's reflection is taken from Revelations, great book. I shall read it in a moment. But just reflect on the first verse. The world has become the kingdom of our Lord, and his Christ will reign forever. And also note the fear of the Lord. And this is how it is described in Proverbs. The fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. So the fear of the Lord essentially is to understand what God is. So I should read you the passage now. And it's taken from Revelations chapter 15, verse 11 to the end. And there's a fantastic subtitle on it, which is Trumpet 7, the third terror. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet and there were loud voices shouting in heaven. The world has now become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign for ever and ever. The twenty-four elders sitting on their thrones before God fell with their faces to the ground and worshipped him. And they said, We give thanks to you, Lord God the Almighty, the one who is and who always was, for now you have assumed your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were filled with wrath, but now the time of your wrath has come. It is time to judge the dead and reward your servants, the prophets, as well as your holy people and all who fear your name. From the least to the greatest, it is time to destroy all who have caused destruction on the earth. Then in heaven the temple of God was opened and the ark of his covenant could be seen inside the temple. Lightning flashed, thunder crashed and roared and there was an earthquake and a terrible hailstorm. So we thank God for this reading. And that passage certainly deserves to be read aloud. This reading presents a scene of final judgment and the eternal kingdom. It provides a dramatic window into the ultimate Christian hope with God in judgment. We are reminded of eternity in the glory of God. So this year has been, well, appalling. There's no other word to describe it. We have been separated from our loved ones, our friends, our families and care homes. We have missed out holding the new baby for the first time. Have been unable to grieve our loved ones in a normal way. Or even been able to put an arm around a friend when they really need it or have an arm put round you when you really need it but even with all this rubbish 2020 does come to an end with a semblance of hope as Mark said in his talk on Sunday we have all been given gifts from God and we have used them to get through this pandemic We have very clever scientists who have now developed a vaccine. We have an end in sight and thank God for that. This passage gives great hope for the future of us all as Christians. And as long as we all strive with God's help to establish the kingdom of God here on earth in loving one another, caring for all people, and walking with Jesus, 
then this is our hope. There's our hope for now and for the future. So I'll leave you with a collect for today. Heavenly Father, you long for the world's salvation. Stir us from apathy, restrain us from excess, and revive in us new hope that all creation will one day be healed. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>